Thank you, Claudia, for coming this week, actually, for four days. You've been teaching a class. My pleasure. Um, on embroidery software and on the embroidery machines using your multi -heat device. So thanks for coming. We've really enjoyed it. Lots of laughter, lots of fun. I think people are really learning how to use their software. I think they're doing fabulous. They, are, they keep amazing me how, um, how well they do. So I'm like thrilled to death on that. So thank you. Yay. Appreciate it. Love coming here. <laughs> So I was working at a Bernina shop in Phoenix, Arizona, and the instructor for software um, had to quit because her husband was being transferred to another state. And they forced me to get into software. I didn't own a computer, I didn't know what a mouse was, and I was pretty sure that was gonna be a fad. But um, I went out and they, I mean literally, I had to do it. So I went out, I bought a computer, I, I forgot that they had to get a mouse, so then I went out and got a mouse, and I had six weeks to learn the software before I had to teach it. And there's something um, incredibly powerful about knowing you have to teach it that you start to really pay attention and listen. Good. So that's how I got into that. So it was fun. <laughs> and then I have about five quilts that are workshop only. And I try and do the workshop only for about four to five years. And then I really work out all the bugs on all the different brands and all the different size hoops. And then um, I put it out. So when you have me come, usually I just do a workshop quilt because you can only get it sure. if you're attending the workshop. Who helps bring Claudia's creations to life? Well, um, first of all, the artists that I hire, because I don't draw, so I always have to hire, hire an artist. Um, Kelly Smith is another artist that I do. She's the one who did this. She's fantastic also. This is a Tis the Season. I love her work. It's just, it's phenomenal. And uh, she's done many of mine also. Actually, if you turn around over there and look at um, Gingerbread Bites, all those little gingerbread guys, that's uh, another yeah. one of hers. And all of my boots. So do you have this? Here's a boot hanging here. Uh, there might be another boot someplace. The boot pattern. The boot patterns are kind of fun because every boot is can be exchanged with any bouquet. So I have eight different boots. I have eight different bouquets, and they're all interchangeable. So you can make your own pattern from those. She's also a fantastic artist. Yeah. But probably the most important person would be my husband Clyde, who does all my booking and does all my early flights and does all my all my books he does everything all I get to do is come and teach while he does all the hard work packing it up shipping it I love it I love not doing any of that so that's what so thank you Claudia. <laughs> my favorite one of your designs that you've done can you have this you is, you this is the second that? one I did on um, multi-hooping machine applique and I love this one too it's beautiful I think that's a really fun one and I love I love how that came out that spring surprise and it's a pretty great one too. Thanks yeah, for, so for pointing been, that one out. I, like I really one. like this one. I like that it has also like movement in the lines. Right. Just, like, and you know that's lines. kind of really cool digitizing uh, technique because it's not it's not satin stitch which most applique is and yeah. it's not it's doing a very unusual it's actually using what they call block digitizing and so it curves with the design and it's thick and thin so it looks more organic and more natural than it does if you use just a yeah. plain satin stitch which is one width and not really very realistic in, in yeah. nature. Very cool. Thanks Thank for you. sharing. Appreciate it. We've had some people in classes that are kind of new to the software, they're new to their embroidery machines. Right. What advice do you have for someone new to embroidery? So first of all, take as many embroidery classes as you can because you really learn your machine. You are so empowered if you are the boss of the machine instead of the machine being the boss of you. So it's all about knowing your machine. It's all about education. And I've had many just beginner embroiderers do my multi-hooping designs, which can be scary because multi-hooping, it scares people. All you have to do is take one class and you realize, oh my gosh, that's not scary at all. It's just knowing what the buttons are in your machine and what your machine can do. So um, if you are a beginner, get in and take a class. Get in and do embroidery. It's just jumping in. And I, and I, I always, I always uh, shy away from people who say, um, oh no, I don't know my machine well, well enough, you know, to start taking a class. Yes, you do. Just get in. As soon as you get in, you'll learn so much just the first time, the first day, you'll be able to really get hooked into embroidery and know it because it's all about knowing your machine. So it's taking those classes that's important. And then today, we had a couple today who just were um, also afraid and they were like, oh my gosh, I just got, you know, can't believe what they've learned. It's just, there's so much you can learn, but it, it's got to get into it. Get into it. <laughs> she also makes all of her students do the hardest part of the quilt first. Correct. So there's probably some secret to that. Too. Yeah, because if you can do the hardest block, we can do all of them. So right. we always start with the hardest, most difficult block, and then they realize that was it. 
I can do that, and then they can go home yeah. and do the rest of it. I like that idea. Yeah, so yeah. that's a good one too. Yeah. It's not just that you're putting them to work, you're also making them laugh throughout the process, so I they're try. enjoying it throughout <laughs> the entire process. So. If we aren't laughing, we are not doing a good job. So that is, that is absolutely <laughs> right. We have a little Diet Coke and a little laugh, and we're good to go to Burger Up. Bird up a storm, so that is true. <laughs> so we've enjoyed having you here. The students have enjoyed having you here at Inspire You So, and we do hope that you join us again. I love coming back here, so I cannot wait. I will look forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.